you guys had a wonderful wonderful thanksgiving and we are on our way back out to the woods our last trip out in the woods did not turn out as we planned it uh we kind of got dumped on rained on and kind of kind of abruptly ended our our evening hunt short so we're back at it again we're heading back out there uh, another evening hunt i mean kind of holding on to this spot uh, for an evening sit so because uh, I mean otherwise it'd be some bushwhacking and pitch dark in the morning so we just had a cold front come in today so the wind is blowing straight out of the north uh, cool things off a lot which was man it's been really muggy and hot uh, where I'm at uh, we're taking the tree stand and uh, I'm gonna try to get out there Ugh, we're a little late but uh, get out there before three o'clock and uh, see if we can uh, sit a couple hours and see if anything comes in guys so stay tuned and uh let's get out in the woods all right guys we just got in the stand it is a little bit after three so i'm going and pull the rifle up and uh let everything settle back down so let's see what this spot's got Good morning guys. Walked in and tried a new spot this morning. It's a little bit of a bottom uh, with a bunch of tall pines in it. A lot of ground cover. I back up, back up to private right behind me. Uh, we got in here about 40 minutes before daylight. Came in here and sat. Just wanted to try a new spot this morning. I didn't know where I could put a tree stand, so uh, I left that back of the truck. Uh, this is almost kind of like a, I won't say a scouting trip, but I wanted to check this one out before I committed to putting a tree stand up, bringing all that stuff out here. So we're going to sit it this morning and uh, see if anything comes by. Maybe we get a shot off this morning. Alright guys, well that was a bust. Uh, that morning spot just just didn't pan out. Um, sun came up and got to looking around and it just man it just didn't uh, it just wasn't appealing. So didn't see anything. Uh, on my way out I saw a couple deer and then uh, got out to the road and another spot I was looking at I actually there was some deer that actually crossed the road right there. So uh, the deer up and moving. 
you know, this weather, uh, you know, has been kind of crappy for the past couple days, but uh, today I was hoping since it cooled off a little bit that they'd be up and moving. So they're actually up and moving. I'm just not in the right spot. So we're going to regroup here, get some gas, refuel, get some food, and uh, get back out there and um, try a new spot. I, I think I know where to go to go for this afternoon, so uh, we're going to give it a shot. So we'll see you guys out there. Looks like another evening with nothing to show for. I feel like the later it gets, the harder it's going to be. I don't know, guys. National Forest is kicking my butt. I'm cold, hungry, and tired. <sighs> well, we're out here in this nasty, nasty weather. Trying to make something happen, guys. It's really late in the season, and I really want to get a deer down for you guys. So we are out here in this this mess, uh, enduring the weather. Uh, trying to sit a few more spots out in the National Forest. It's actually not bad, but you get the occasional drop, hit you right in the gun or right on the top of the head, so. Just trying to keep everything a little dry and I don't know. I don't know if we should get the calls out or not. We're gonna be throwing the kitchen sink at them guys. Trying to trying to make something happen, so let's see what we can do. Alright guys, I just had a deer come in. Well, I guess not come in. It was staying out this way. Staying in a lot of the heavy cover. It never would come closer. I couldn't really see it to get a shot. Um, I couldn't tell what it was for one. So, I'm not going to just shoot something just because I want to confirm that it's legal and, and good to go. But it never did uh, come back out. So I could get, so I could get a good look at it. So we're being a little more aggressive with our calling today. Just trying some different stuff. Um, usually I'm really passive when it comes to calling and doing uh, calling sequences. So uh, you know we're trying to do some rubs and, and make more uh, buck grunts and uh, just see what happens. So I mean. 
that's cool. I tried to, I zoomed in, but I don't know if I got it. I just don't know if this weather is, is conducive for deer moving. I don't know, I, this haze and kind of overcast and rain might just keep them bedded. I don't know. But it's good signs, guys. I think that's gonna do it for tonight man we had a really really cool encounter uh had a deer almost want to come in just stayed out in the in the fringe just stayed out in the thick stuff so we didn't get a chance to sit very long but it was a to me it was a successful uh sit uh we got a little more aggressive with the calls and uh scraping and uh maybe it paid off i don't know it's getting late in the season guys and i want to get a deer so bad for you guys Appreciate you guys being patient. I know watching videos with, with no deer can be a little bit cumbersome, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me and uh, we're gonna get one, guys. It's a matter of time. We're doing doing the right things. You know, if you guys have any comments on, on any ideas of what I might be doing wrong, you know, I've tried to listen to you, listen to a lot of a lot of you guys' comments about getting away from people, getting away from gates, paths, all that stuff. I've been taking that in and trying to be successful. So guys, if you have any more comments, leave them down below. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like these types of videos, if you like seeing me hunt out here in the National Forest or hunting in general, hit that thumbs up button as well and hit that bell notification so you know every time that I drop a new video. We got a, maybe a couple more weeks until the end of season and I got a good feeling. We just got to narrow it down and really get out of here and, and hustle. So thank you guys for, for sticking around. Love you guys. Till next time, we will catch ya.